Let's go now for question number three. For VT, the threshold of voltage, half a volt, mu N times COX is 250 microamps per volt square, and the form factor is given only in part. The length of the channel is the same for both transistors. They are absolutely the same. Is one quarter of a micrometer. Find the required gate widths for each of the two transistors Q1 and Q2 and also find the value of this resistor to yield the values shown 120 microamps let me highlight it because the copy made it kind of blurry and the voltage here is 3.5 volts and the voltage here is 1.5 of volts. We need to find, I repeat, the gate width for Q1 and Q2 so that those currents and voltages are what they are and also find this resistor value. Let's concentrate on this uh, diode connected transistor at the bottom. The current in this uh, conductor is 0 amps. The current in this conductor is also 0 amps. It's the gate current of a MOSFET. That means that this current, the drain source current for this transistor is 120 microamps. Let's write that current 120 microamps. That is equal to 1 half Kn that multiplies this voltage minus Vt squared because it's the same. Remember, it's 1.5 minus Vt, the threshold of voltage, which is half a volt, 0 0.5. And all of that squared. Well, this is 1 squared. Well, that means that Kn has to be 240 micros. Mm. And so what? Well, we know that that is in reality the product of mu n multiplied by cox multiplied by omega divided by the length and we already have this value and we already have this value right 250 micros 250 micros and this is 0 0.5 0 0.25 micros from there we solve for the width of the channel for that transistor. Excellent. That is 240 nanometers for the first transistor. What about the width of the channel for the second one? We use the same uh, technique. We know what is the current, 120 microamps, and we know the voltage across that diode connected transistor, 3.5 minus 1.5. This voltage is all right, so we say for Q2 120 microns will be half the Kn of that transistor 2 that multiplies the voltage to minus the threshold of voltage 0.5 squared. When we do that, we obtain that Kn for this other transistor, transistor O1 has to have a value of 106.7 microamps per volt squared. And that has to be again to this expression that is that is equal to 250 micros that multiplied W, the width of the channel, divided by the length of the channel, which is the same for this transistor. Mm -hmm. Well, from there we obtain the width of the channel for transistor 2, and that turns out to be 106.7 nanometers. And that's the solution for this exercise. We have found the width of the channels of both transistors that realize 
that current and those voltages. The question remains, what is the value of this resistor? Well, that resistor value we could have found even before computing the width of the channel. And that is 5 minus 3.5 divided by 120. Let me repeat, 5 minus 3.5 volts divided by the current 120 microamps, which is 12. 0.5 kilo ohms. And that completes the solution to this exercise.